So if you've got a brush, you can use a brush. It's not only dangerous. There's a gold chain under there somewhere, boys and girls. This is really dangerous. Get a responsible adult to do it for you. Once something gets between those two, you've had it. It's a stupid thing to do. If I don't fucking like you, then I don't fucking <laughs> like you. Oh dear. I'm a cliche, I'm a cliche, I'm a cliche, I'm a cliche. It's the one you've been waiting for. It's the chain cleaning video. Look at how bad my chain has got. All right, so I got a few tools here. This is an old piece of scotch Bright. There's a big rush. And this is kerosene. Buying like five liters, put it into one of those squirty bottles, and you're all good. So there's no point in me spraying kerosene over corrosion. So I'm just going to use some Scotch Brite and I'm just going to work it over the chain. So once I've got bored of getting as much corrosion as I can off of the chain, I use my little helper, which is Bulldog BDX. So what I'll do is I'll then lube up the chain with it. And then what the Bulldog BDX is going to do after I've got all the top layer of corrosion off, yeah, I should be out there playing on the bike. It's just going to help me uh, remove any corrosion I can't get to. This is the bit I love. See all that corrosion? And I've let my Bulldog BDX settle in for like a couple of minutes. And I'm just going around the chain and it is just knocking it off. So pleased with that. Look at it, it was minging a minute ago. There's a piece there, see that? It's gonna hit it up with the Bulldog BDX, dude. I just go around the entire chain, all the sides. Look at that already. This is gonna be good. You can see, you can see what's happening here. It's all starting to look pretty good as time goes on. I've only been at this for about six minutes now. It's not the uh, longest amount of time. All right, I'm just rocking it from side to side, see that? Nice and easy. I don't have to push too hard. We're just working it. So when it comes to this stuff, a little goes a long way. So I've soaked my chain. All right. I've got some drips here because it's the area I'm mostly working on. But I'm not flooding the chain. There's no need to do that. It's uh, wasteful for the environment. It's wasteful for a decent product. It's just So it's on there, yeah? It's wet. But it's just not dripping everywhere wet. So as, as my scotch bright wears out, yeah, I'm just folding it onto itself. You can see I've got holes in it. I'm just folding it, folding it until I have a little piece. So I can still work with this little piece. When it comes to areas like this, I just work it. A little bit along a little. And just work it, okay? I'm not gonna rotate whilst doing this, rotating the chain at the same time, yeah? Things can get real dangerous, so it's gonna take my time. Look at that beauty. And you see, I keep folding my scotch bright over, yeah? <laughs> use it up. <laughs> I'm gonna use it all up. So you're saying you don't have any scotch bright? Okay, well, you can use these little brushes. The sort of brush you might use for cleaning uh, spark plugs with. You can use them, it's okay. Now you can see the O-rings are sandwiched between two pieces of metal, yeah? So as long as I'm not, well, you know, if I wanted to do this, it's up to me, it's my bike, yeah? But as long as I'm not applying pressure this way and I'm applying pressure this way, I'm not actually touching the O-rings at all. So if you've got a brush, you can use a brush and just keep working it. Hey, both sides, yeah? Being as careful as I can. It takes a lot longer to do the back than it does the front. Okay, so now we're at a point where our product placement is enough, the BDX. I've applied it to the chain. I've used scotch Bright. I've used a spark plug brush. Brought a spare just in case, but didn't need it. And you can see I haven't flooded the concrete or anything. This was really just to uh, attack the corrosion that I've allowed to build up on my chain. And now it's time to actually clean my chain. So I'm just using kerosene. And that's the only product I use on my chain because it's kind. And once this pumps up. <laughs> that's just how these things are. 
I'm just going to douse the chain in kerosene. This is going to degrease it. So this isn't going to remove corrosion. This is just going to degrease the chain. I'm just going to go around. So unlike all these other chain cleaners, it's going to drip like crazy, yeah? But all of the dirt that drips off will wash away with a hose pipe nine times out of ten. Whereas a lot of other chain cleaners, they just deposit it on the ground and that's that. So now that the entire chain's been coated, I'm just gonna leave it for maybe two or three minutes and just let that soak in. It's gonna drip all over the place and then I'm gonna come back and do it again. Okay, so a few minutes in and the chain is still nice and wet. I'm gonna soak it down one more time and then I'm gonna use the nylon brush and it won't matter if I use it in this orientation against the O-rings. I mean, this just isn't enough to cut into even my gloves or do any damage to them. So give the chain a good scrub, rotate it, give it a good scrub, soak it down with more paraffin. You get it, you know what I'm doing here. So top tip when using a nylon brush, pressure is not your friend because all that's going to happen here is the bristles are going to deform so literally i'm just going over the surface and i'm doing that i'm agitating because i'm trying to degrease the chain now not knock off any corrosion so i'm using that spark plug brush just to get in so i'm being pretty careful yeah i mean it's, it's a plastic brush so i'm trying to scratch up my paintwork or nothing well as it can be. Just giving my sprocket a little bit of love. Okay, so you want to work on the teeth on your sprocket. You can see it's working, right? But my fingers are not going anywhere near that. So I can rotate, attack a little bit more of it, rotate, attack a little bit more of it, okay? The worry here is as I move the brush up, Am I scraping the O-rings on the chain as I do that? Yeah, I mean, am I? It's my motorcycle, I'm trying to be careful. And one of the other things I've got to stress is I'm doing this on my own. I do not want somebody else rotating this tire as I'm working here. And I know it seems really helpful, but it isn't. And it just doesn't take much for my fingers to get caught. I mean, if somebody wants to help, they can make a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, I suppose. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Now, rather than trying to rinse the chain with paraffin, squirt, 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 and waste all that paraffin, all we're gonna do is rinse it off with water. Yeah, show your O-rings some love by not using high pressure. <laughs> and that's all it. All of the gunk washes away. <laughs> it really does. That's amazing. Look at the teeth already coming through the chain. I mean, it's starting to look real good from where I'm looking anyway. And I'm not spending all day doing this because I want to ride my bike. But since I'm about to put 550 miles on the bike, yeah, let's just clean and lubricate. I just let it air dry. I rotate every so often. I'm not going to start my motorbike up on the stands and then make the wheel rotate. It's not only dangerous, it's a stupid thing to do. That's not bad for the small amount of time I've spent on it. Let's talk lubricants. So there's a lot of different lubricants out there. This is a pack from Muck Off with dry, all weather, and then a wet lubricant. So you've got like lots of different choices when it comes to chains. For me, if it's winter, I like to use the Bulldog BDX because, you know, it gets rid of corrosion pretty well. Um, but if you put it on too thick, it does fling off. This is what I use for winter. So I use Bulldog BDX and I spray it onto a sponge. I'll get a new sponge next winter. And that one saw me through an entire winter. I spray it onto the sponge. Then I wipe the sponge after I've degreased my chain all over the chain. And that's how I stop the fling that goes on my alloy. But as always, health and safety boys and girls, get a supervisor or a adult to help you because you don't want to be mixing fingers and sprocket. It's summer so I'm using GT85 and what I like about GT85 is it goes on and then as the solvent dries it dries to like um, 
a dry lubricant. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what it does. And uh, it smells all right too. So I give it a good, good dousing of that, rotate, spray, spray, spray. And then I'll have a, a chain that looks like that in normal everyday use. And uh, I like the look of it rather than it having absolutely globs of, you know, I hate it when it flicks on the rim. This doesn't do that. So uh, this one can, but it depends how, how heavy you put it on. Generally, when it comes to Bulldog BDX, I spray it onto a sponge and then I wipe the sponge onto the chain rather than spraying this on. And then I get less flick on my rims. All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna need two hands for this now. I'll lubricate my chain. Thanks for watching.